Hello everybody, welcome to Pilates with Katja. Today we have a comprehensive class. We will be using the over ball. Now please don't worry if you don't have a ball like this, you can do the whole class without the ball, okay? But having the ball is just adds another dimension and it's just really great fun. So let's begin. Now I also have a, a blanket for my head to rest on and you can use a cushion, a blanket, a towel, anything you have just for some head support. We particularly need it later for one exercise where it'll be good to have a little bit of support. Okay, we begin. So we're going to start lying down on our bags. Place your ball right underneath your bottom, so under your sacrum, that big triangle bone at the base of your spine. Now, ideally the ball is not too high up and then it makes you feel like you are arching your back. And neither is the ball too far forwards, and then it feels almost like the ball is going to pop out. Okay, so bring it right under your bottom, and it should feel quite supportive and comfortable. If at any time you need to adapt the ball, adjust the position, please go ahead and do so. Your feet are in line with your hip joints, and straight away you feel that this adds a little bit more instability right we feel a little bit more wobbly on the ball so before we start we're just going to sway our hips very gently side to side we're just getting a feel for having the ball there sway your hips right and left then find your center point inhale through the nose and then as you exhale, you start to curl the tailbone up. Your lower back goes gently down. Now we're still having the bottom on the ball. We're not yet lifting off it. We're going to inhale, release the pelvis. You can go the other way if that feels good on your back. And then exhale, abdominal drawing in nice and tight, nice and flat. Curl the tailbone up. Inhale, releasing the pelvis, maybe going beyond that neutral into an extension. Exhale it, curling it. One more time. Inhale, lengthening the table forwards, a little bit down. And exhale, using your tummy to curl up. Great. And then relax it back down. Now imagine you have the numbers of a clock printed onto your tummy all the way around, on your hip bones, on your pubic bone, all the way up to your navel. Can you circle your pelvis and just visualize you're traveling along the numbers of the clock? It's a pretty small movement. You still feel the abdominals engaged, pulling in. If possible, try and keep your legs fairly still so they don't sway side to side too much. And then change direction, try the other way. So it's quite a small movement. We're just loosening up into the back, connecting with our tummy muscles. And then make your way back into the center, where you feel nice and stable. So if you feel the ball has shifted a bit, you're not feeling in the center, please go ahead and adjust the ball. Now, for the next exercises, our aim will be to stay as still as possible on the ball, to no more rock, no more wobbling, no more shifting. We're going to inhale here, exhale, your abdominals, they're working like a really big fat white belt that wraps all around to your back, all around the waist, all around to the front. Float your right leg slowly up. You inhale at the top, exhale, place your foot slowly down. We inhale at the bottom, exhale, abdominals help you stabilize, float your left leg up, inhale, hold, exhale, place your foot slowly back down. So this is really about your deep abdominal muscles, not a leg exercise, inhale, exhale, right leg comes up, breathe in, and breathe out, lower your foot down. Inhale, exhale, left leg comes up, breathe in, and breathe out, bring your foot down. Now notice if you're tensing your shoulders 
or if you're using your arms to help you stabilize. So we are having the arms on the floor, but try not to lean into them too much. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right leg up. This time, keep your leg breathing. Breathe out. Draw the tummy in. Float up your left leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right foot slowly down. Inhale. Exhale, left foot down. We inhale at the bottom. Exhale, float your left leg up. Hold. Your right leg follows. So if you're wobbling, it's okay. Just trust that your abdominals are doing the work to stabilize you. Left foot slowly down. And right foot slowly down. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg goes up again. Left leg goes up. Now this time, bring your knees and feet together. Stretch your legs up towards the sky. Inhale here. From here, exhale, reach both legs forwards and down. Only as far as you keep the tummy nice and flat. Bend the knees and stretch the legs back up. Again, lower the legs forwards. Bending the knees and stretch them out. Exhale to lower. Inhale to bend. Exhale to lower. Inhale to bend. Now we're going to reverse. This time we're going to flex our feet. Pretend you're pushing something away. Reach the heels away. Lift. And bending your knees. And as if you're pushing something away, reach. And lift the legs up. Bending and reach away. And up. One more. Bend. Reach away. And up. Bend your knees for a moment. Let the knees open a little bit and give them a nice little squeeze in towards you. Allow your lower back to release down. And bringing your legs back to tabletop position. Take a moment to find your balance on the ball. Feel nice and steady before you start. Stretch your right leg up. And we're going to bicycle legs. We'll make really nice big circular movements. Try to stretch your leg out really forwards each time. So you're lengthening across your hip flexors. Every time they're contracting and they're lengthening. Stretching out. And then do a few more with your feet flexed. We'll keep breathing. No holding of the breath. If you're pushing something away. And bend the knees back in towards the chest. Hug the knees in. Hold onto your left leg. Stretch your right leg all the way forwards and down to the mat. Okay, now maybe opening your bent knee a little bit over to the left. Now that might mean that you have to readjust on the ball to not fall off it. Squeeze your left knee in towards your chest. Your right leg is stretching down, 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 down really long. And then if you have good balance here, stretch your right arm all the way back. The right side is lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. You're still drawing your tummy down to support your lower back. And very slowly transition. No rush. Take your time. Right knee in. Left leg stretches out. So get a little bit of adjustment on the board. Open the right knee a little bit. Hug it in towards your right side. Your left leg is reaching down, down, down. When you found your balance, stretch your left arm back. Length through the front of your left hip. Lovely deep breathing. And then we slowly bring ourselves back to the center. We're going to bring our feet down to the mat where we started. Ground yourself in your feet. Lift your bottom off the ball. You can take the ball out now and roll yourself slowly all the way down. And we'll just take a breath, allowing the body to settle here. And exhaling. Good. Now you're going to tuck the ball between your knees, between your thighs. Taking your arms out wide to the side into a T-shape. Good. Making sure your chin is slightly tucked down, 
back of the neck is long. Inhaling here. Exhale, take your knees to the right side. Your feet are just going to roll on the inner and outer edges. The ball will move a little bit. Try not to lose it. Inhale here. Exhale from your tummy. The left side tummy is going to work hard. Pull everything back. Take your knees over to the left. Inhaling here. Exhale, tummy muscles, bringing your knees back up and over towards your right. Breathe in and breathe out center. Over to the left, inhale. Last two, over to the right. Just settling our back now on the mat. Loosening it up after it's been on the ball for a while. And bring your knees up. That's lovely. Good. Now if your ball has moved a little bit, you need to tuck it back in. Go ahead and do so. Stretch your arms long beside your side. Inhale here. Prepare. Exhale. Abdominal strong in. Ground your feet. Roll your hips up into a pelvic tilt. Aiming to make a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Inhale. Hold. Exhale, roll slowly back down. Good. Inhale, relax. Exhale, curl the tail under, rolling up. Lower back, middle back, a little bit of the upper back. Feeling your glutes and hamstrings very strong. Hold on to your ball. Inhale. Exhale, roll slowly back down. Inhale, relax. Exhale, rolling it up. Reach with your knees forwards towards your toes. Inhale. Exhale, peel slowly down. We've got two more. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, rolling up. Inhale, pause. Exhale, peel it down, upper back. Middle back, lower back, sacrum, tailbone. Last one, inhale. Exhale, roll yourself up. Now here comes a little extra bit. We're going to bring our arms into a round shape over our chest. Keep your hips as much as you can up there. Try not to let your hips move around. Inhale, open the arms to the side. Exhale, bring the arms in, squeeze your knees into the ball. Inhale, release, open the arms. Exhale, arms to the center, squeeze your knees in. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, working the inner thighs. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, feeling your pelvic floor muscles. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. You've got two more. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, last one. Exhale, squeeze. Stretch your arms all the way to the space behind you. Roll yourself slowly all the way down. From here, bring your arms down. Hug the knees in. And for a moment, put your ball all the way to the side on the floor next to you. Releasing your inner thighs, just gently circle your knees, nice and easy. Other direction. And then from here, you can either roll to the side, push yourself up to sitting, or hands around the back of the legs and gently rock yourself up to sitting. Good. So grab your ball again and place the ball right behind you, so you're tucking it really close in. From here, we're going to hold onto our shins, and we'll try and sit up right on top of our sit bones. Draw your shoulders down, feel the top of the head reaching up. Inhaling here, exhale, now we curl back, and you're going to squash your ball. Good, and it feels like as if you're scooping, sense of holding your tummy. Hold it, inhale, Exhale, come forwards, bring your nose towards your knees and inhale, rolling yourself up again. Feel the difference? You've got your beautiful tall spine, then you've got your C curve. 
leaning into the ball. So having the ball is a wonderful support. You can lean into it. It almost helps us feel the abdominals even more. Come forwards. And sit yourself up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale, curl it back again. Leaning into the ball. Breathe in and breathe out. Come forwards and lift up. Good. We're adding on. From here, curl it back. Good. Now, if you need the support, you keep holding on to your legs. Otherwise, reach your arms forwards. We're going to open our right arm. Keep your chest facing forwards and bring the arm back. Let's open the left arm without turning the chest and close it. Now open your right arm. Do turn your chest. Look at your arm and come back. Left side, rotate and bring it back. Hold on to your legs and bring yourself all the way forwards. Lift up, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Sit up tall. Inhale. Exhale, curl back into the ball again. Now this time, we'll take the arms up. So right arm goes up, inhale. Exhale down, draw the tummy in more. Left arm up. Exhale down. The right arm goes up. We're going to rotate the chest and bring it back to the center. Left arm goes up, rotate. And bring it back to the center. Roll yourself all the way back up again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl back down again. Now we're going to combine these two movements. The first round, keep your chest facing to your front. Take your right arm up. Circle it out to the side and bring it around. Left arm up. Open it out to the side. Bring it around, keep that C curve. Right arm up, turn your chest to the right. Open the arm and sweep it around. Left arm up, open it and bring it forwards. Roll yourself all the way back up. Well done, now take the ball, place the ball between your legs and we're going to stretch out our legs with our feet towards the corners of the mats. So your legs are as wide as the mat. Now if sitting up straight is challenging for you, please feel free, grab your cushion, your towel, your blanket and put it under your bottom and sit on it. From here, we'll have the hands, fingertips resting on the ball. Sit up as straight as you can. If you need to bend your knees a little bit to do so, go ahead, bend your knees. Inhale. Exhale, our belly draws back, lifts us up. We're going to think as if we're stretching up and over. We're rolling the ball forwards. Abdominals keep pulling back. This is spine stretch. We inhale, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, rolling yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae. Pretend you're rolling up against the wall and sitting up really tall. Inhale. Exhale, rolling forwards, stretching out, creating space between your vertebrae. Inhale, reach. Exhale, roll it back up. Lift up tall. Inhale. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale to stretch. Exhale, roll it back up. And we got one last one. Inhale. Exhale, again, reach forwards, stretch, and roll yourself back up. This time we inhale, take the arms all the way up towards the sky, and a big circle, open the arms, are beautiful and wide. Scoop up your ball, bring your legs close together, reaching forwards. From here, flex your feet. Sit as tall as you can, inhale, exhale, ball into your right hand, open your right arm, turning your chest to the right, left fingertips reaching straight forwards to your feet, inhale, close it, exhale, change, spine twist variation, inhale, center, exhale, keep your shoulders down, breathe in and breathe out, open, inhale, 
exhale, reach. Inhale, last one. Exhale, reach. Come back. Bring the soles of the feet together for a moment. Put the ball to the side. Have a quick release. Releasing your hip flexors, your thighs, your back hang down. Roll yourself up. Extend your legs again. Place the ball one more time behind you, maybe slightly further away. Unless you like it close, it supports your back really well, keep it close. Reach your arms forward and then curl back. Make sure it's in the middle of your back. Reach your arms forwards. Good. We have tiny pulses. We inhale, lift up a little bit. Exhale, draw the belly in, squish into the ball. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squish. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squish. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squish. One more here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squish. Now reach the arms onto the right diagonal. Same here. Come forwards a little bit and squish the ball. Inhale. Exhale, squish. Inhale. Exhale, squish. Inhale. And back. Come back through the center. Over towards the left diagonal. Come forwards and feel the abdominals drawing back. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. And then come back to the center. Bring yourself all the way up. Bring the soles of the feet together. Again, reach your arms up. Big circle. Open the arms out nice and wide. Okay. Now, if you have a blanket or a towel and you can fold it up an extra time, go ahead and do so. So you have a little bit more height. If you have another cushion or so to put on top, it would be really useful even to have an extra one now. So you place that here. And then the board will go right between our shoulder blades. So lower yourself slowly down. Place the ball into your upper back, under your upper back, under your shoulder blades. Again, you can see that your feet are aligned with your hip joints. Make sure they're not too far apart. And then we'll support our head with our hands. We'll make a nice cradle interlacing the fingers. And then slowly stretch yourself back. So this is why you want to feel comfortable so you're not straining your neck. From here we inhale, exhale, head is heavy, curl the chest and head forwards, gazing towards your knees. Inhale, stretch it back out. Exhale, we're contracting the front of the body, curl it forwards. Inhale, release again. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl. Pause here for a moment. So until now, you have kept your pelvis nice and relaxed. It has moved. Now for this next movement, stay forwards. Look down to your hips. Inhale. And then exhale like you did right at the beginning when you had the ball under your bottom. We did those tiny little perfect rocks. Curl the tail up and lengthen it down. Curl. You can see your pubic bone coming closer towards your chest and then lengthening it forwards. Good. We've got three more. Curl. Ground your feet and release. And again, curl. Try and stay in that forward flexion with your chest and head and curl. And relax. Now find that neutral position. Reach your arms forwards. Good. From here, inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, press them down. Draw the tummy in. Down, 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 down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, press them down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hands behind your head, support it. And lower yourself all the way down. For a moment, relax here, allow the ribs to expand, nice deep breath in, a nice big exhale. 
Inhale, float the elbows again so you can just about see them. Exhale, curl your chest and head forwards. Now we'll pick up our right leg, tabletop position, and we pick up our left leg. From here, bring both hands around your right shin, hug the right knee in, stretch your left leg out forwards to about 45 degrees. Keep curling forwards, good, and then once you got that position, you can reach the arms forwards, or if your head needs support, put your hands behind your head. We go, single leg stretch. So the aim is not to wobble on the ball, stay light on the ball by reaching forwards, so keep curling forwards, 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 whilst you're stretching out those legs. You feel that in your abdominals. Tabletop position, hands behind your head if they're stretched out. Placing one foot down, placing the other foot down, and relax all the way back down. Inhale here. We've got one more. Exhale, curl forwards again. Starting with your left leg, bring your left leg in and bring your right leg in. This time we're going to stretch the left leg up, catching it, holding it wherever you can catch it, the calf or just below the knee. Stretch your right leg out forwards, keep it just off the mat, scissoring your legs. And each time we'll pull the top leg in to stretch and stretch and stretch. Keep curling forwards, still trying to be light on the ball now. Stretching out those legs whilst working the abdominals. Last one. Bend your legs tabletop, hands behind the head again. Well done, left foot down, right foot down, relax it down. Allow yourself a nice little rest, inhale. And exhale, release. Inhale. Last one here, curl the chest and head forwards. Now this time, your feet won't move, they stay there. Reach with your left arm to the outside of your right leg. Your bent elbow is going back, so create opposition. One hand's reaching directly forwards, the other elbow's going back. Inhale, come back to the center, hand behind the head. Exhale, twist. Now the ball is moving side to side a little bit. Inhale, support your head. Exhale, twist. Breathe in and breathe out, twist. Inhale, last two, and twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Very nice, bring your hand behind the head. Now looking at your legs, slide your right leg out, slide your left leg out. Close the legs and just check that you are straight. From there, lower yourself all the way back down. Reaching your arms all the way back. Beautiful, long, big stretch. Stretch out of your waist, inhale. Exhale, take your arms up to the sky, lift the head, rolling yourself up to sitting. Flex your feet and reach forwards to your toes. You can catch your feet and draw yourself in towards your legs. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, stretch the toes away. Exhale, roll yourself down again. The ball is waiting for you. Beautiful big stretch back. Inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, arms, head, chest, press your legs down. Roll yourself up, flex your feet and stretch forwards over your... Now we're going to do three more. You can keep the ball behind you if that feels really nice for you or for an extra challenge, put the ball under your ankles. You've got to squeeze your legs together so that they don't fall off the ball. Squeeze them in, reach your arms forwards, inhale, and then exhale, we'll roll back down again. And this is really interesting because it teaches us a little bit more about our right and left sides. You might feel a little bit wobbly. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way back, lengthening. Exhale, arms up. Head lifts, roll yourself back up, flex your feet once more and stretch over your legs. Again, we sit up nice and tall, inhale, point the toes, exhale, roll it slowly down, press the legs down into the ball, inhale, stretch it out, 
exhale, arms up, head follows, rolling yourself up. Flex your feet and stretch forwards. Here's your last one, your best one. Slowly roll it down, keep it controlled and steady. Stretch your arms back. Arms up to the sky, head follows, roll yourself up and stretch forwards over your legs. Good. From here, take your hands behind you. Your fingers are pointing forwards or to the side. Now, if it's too wobbly on the ball and this is too much, you can put your feet flat onto the floor and do this with your legs bent. Okay. Otherwise, we'll keep the legs on the ball. We inhale. We're going to exhale. We lift the hips up, rolling slightly forwards if our legs are on the ball. And we'll try and push the floor away and lift out of the shoulders. Slowly lower your hips back down, inhaling. Tap down lightly. Exhale, roll yourself up one more time. One more inhale, lower down. And exhale, lift yourself up. Hold it here. And slowly bring yourself down. Very nice. Okay. Now we'll lie down onto our side. You're going to place the ball right between your ankles your ankles, your heels, and then slide down. If you've got your cushion there, that can be a really nice neck support. You can tuck it between your arm and ear. So it's just there, it will help you relax your neck. So look down, make sure your body is nice and straight, and only your feet are a tiny bit forwards. You've got beautiful long legs. Lengthen your top side waist. So I almost feel there is a tiny, tiny little gap under your bottom waist. You could slide a piece of paper under your waist. Your free hand can be either in front of you or you can rest it along the side of your body. We're going to inhale here, exhale, long legs, press your top leg down into the ball. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press the leg down. Inhale, relax. Now your knees are pointing straight forwards. However, if you feel any pressure on your knee, you can try and turn your top knee slightly up towards the ceiling and see if that helps take any pain or pressure away from the knee. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Last one, release. Working our inner thighs and press. Good, breathe in. Now squeeze only half the amount and then in addition, lift your legs off the floor, lengthen them away. Inhale, lower down. If you've got really good balance, why not stretching your arm down beside your body, lengthening and lower back down. Again, reach the legs away, lift and lower and lengthening and lift and lower. Now we can add an extra movement. As you lift the legs, reach with your hand down to the feet. The head might come off the arm, off the cushion a little bit. And then lower, stretch your arm over. Legs and arm coming towards each other. Lift. You're feeling your waist working. And lower back down. Again, lengthening and lift. And lower. And lengthening and lift. And lower. Here's your last one. And lift. And then lower down. Place your hand in front of you. Bend your knees. Knees slightly forwards. Feet slightly back. Now keep your knee so that your top knee is in line with the hip joint. And it's not quite rolling all the way down. Inhale. Exhale. Press your knee open. Control the ball. Inhale. Close. Exhale, pressing the knee open and close. You can bring your hand to the hip and keep checking that your hip is not rolling back. And close. And squeeze your knee up. And close. Three more. Good, last one. And release. Well done. From here, bring yourself up onto your elbow. 
and then grab the ball and place the ball underneath your waist. The ball is a great little tool to help us give us feedback where we are in space. So for a moment, sink into the ball and come hanging out here. So this is what we're trying not to do. We're going to push away, and lift away from the ball. So we try not to squash it. Make sure the shoulder, the arm that you're leaning on, is away from the ear. From here, inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up, reach the free arm up to the sky. Inhale, hold. Exhale, lower it down without squashing into your ball. Again, lifting up, hips up, arm reaches to the sky. And slowly lower back down. One more time, lift. And lower down. This is our last one. We're going to stay. Lift the hips. Now we'll just take the arm up and over and bring the arm down beside you. And lift over, arm down. Two more. And reach. And lower. And reach. And slowly lower yourself down. Lovely. Sit yourself up for mermaid. Now, if you find you're sitting off to the side, grab your cushion and sit on your cushion. If this position doesn't agree with your knees, you can do the stretch as best as possible with your legs out in front of you. So, we're going to use our ball again. So, grab the ball and place it over towards the side where your foot is tucked in really close to you. We inhale, stretch the free arm up and reach up and over. You're leaning into the ball. Inhale, open the arms. We're stretching out the arm, the side that you've been leaning on in your side plank. Inhale up and exhale over. Inhale up, last one. Exhale over, lift up. This time, pick up the ball, take it with you, sweep the arm all the way around, place it down onto the mat. From here, you're gonna come all the way down to the floor, make a little pillow with your hand for your head, stretch the ball, the arm away, and even stretch out your top leg. Reach it out really long, so feeling one side is getting a really beautiful, long, long stretch. Stay here for a couple more breaths. Feel that beautiful length. And then bend your leg. Draw the belly in. Roll the ball in towards you. Just leave it there. Sweep your arm up. And bring your arm all the way back to the center. Let's do the other side. So come and lie down first. We can take our cushion for our neck. So tuck the ball back between your ankles. Lying down on the second side. We can prop that between our arm and ear to support our neck. Good. Have a quick check that your trunk is not too far back behind your hips. So you're nice and straight. Only the legs are slightly forwards in front of you. Good. From here, once you checked, Look straight ahead so that your head comes back in line with your neck. Inhaling here. Exhale. We lengthen the legs, press the top leg down. We're working the inner thighs. Inhale, release. Exhale, press it down. You've got your abdominals nice and strong, lengthening your waist. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze down. Two more. Inhale, relax. Exhale, keep your shoulder down. Last one. And squeeze. And release. Now squeezing only half the amount. And then add a double leg lift. Lifting your legs off the floor. Reach them away. Again, careful the legs don't swing behind you. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lengthening and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, reach out through the toes. And lower. And lengthen and lift. Now lower the legs down. Reach the top arm all the way up and over the head. And then as your legs lift, 
You're reaching with the hand, the fingertips down to the feet. The head might come off now. The arm, inhale, lower down. Exhale, legs come up. Arm is reaching down to the feet. You're contracting the top waist. And lengthening and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, last one. And then keeping the arm, lower your legs down. Great, bend your knees. Knees slightly forwards, feet slightly back. We'll keep the top knee aligned with the hip joint. Breathe in. Breathe out, press your knee open. And close. You can place your hand on the hip. Do you just keep an eye on it? It doesn't roll back. And close. Squeeze the knee open. Inhale down. Exhale open. Inhale down. Exhale open. Lovely. Go for three more. Last one. And squeeze the knee up. And release. Very good. From there, prop yourself up onto your elbow now. You can put that away. And then grab the ball and place the ball under your waist. So again, for a moment, just hang out, lean into the ball. Good. So this is what we're trying to avoid. Now push into the arm that you're leaning on and lift away from the ball. You feel this underneath waist is working, is contracting. From here, stretch the free arm down beside your body. Inhale, exhale into your side plank variation. Lift your hips up, reach your arms straight up to the sky. Inhale, pause. Exhale, lower slowly down. Inhale, exhale, up you go. Lift the hips, push the floor away. And slowly lower back down. Let's do two more. And lift up. And lower down. Last one. And lift up. Now hold it here. Reach the top arm up and over and bring it down beside your body. Inhale. Exhale. Stay lifted. Try not to sink down. Your underneath shoulder is not moving up to the ear. Keep that drawn down the ribcage. And slowly lower yourself all the way down. Good. Sit yourself up for your mermaid stretch. So again, we're going to shift the ball to the opposite side. Feel free to grab your cushion, your blanket, your towel and sit on it to make your hips more comfortable, more square. Inhale. The arm that you have been leaning on goes up to the sky. Stretch up and over. Inhale, open it out. Exhale, lengthen and stretch it out. Stretch out the side. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last time, inhale. And exhale. From here, we'll go all the way to the other side. Catch yourself on your hand. Bring the ball with you. Sweep it all the way across, facing down to the mat. Now come close to the floor. Make a little pillow with your arm, stretch the ball away, stretch out your top leg. So feel the top side getting a really great, good, great, great stretch. Lengthening it out, stretch it. And then slowly bend your top leg, abdominal drawing in to help you bring everything back in. Leave the ball, reach your arm up and open it out. Great. Come with me onto your hands and knees. Good. So from here, we're going to tuck the ball between our knees. We'll have three cut stretches. So standing on your hands under your shoulders. We inhale, lift the chest, look out forwards. Exhale, round in the spine. Lift the abdominals in, squeeze your legs into the ball, looking back. Inhale, release the squeeze on the ball, unraveling the spine, lift up. Exhale, round on your spine, and there you can squeeze the ball. Everything lifts and scoops in and up. 
One more inhale, lengthening. Look out forwards, lift the chest. And exhale, round and squeeze into the ball. Inhale, come into a long neutral position. Careful the head is not hanging forwards. Keep the head in line with the spine. Tucking your toes under now. Inhale, exhale. Press into the floor with your hands, your toes. Pick up the knees. Take the ball with you. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale, lower your knees slowly down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Abdominals engage. That big white belt is wrapping in tight around your waist. Hold and lower it slowly down. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift yourself up. Now, if you can stay here, if you need to go down again and lift up again, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, we're going to squeeze the ball. Release. Squeeze. Release. Squeeze. Release. Last two. Release. Squeeze. Release. Lower your knees down. Remove the ball for a moment. Open your knees wide. Stretch out your back. Release your inner thighs. Rock yourself forwards. Now we'll lie down on our tummy before we'll get the ball once more between our ankles. Slide slightly back. And then lie down on your tummy. Okay. From here, we're going to bring the hands, just turn on the side, into this position and rest them like so under our head, under our forehead. It's called diamond press. Okay. Now reach the tailbone towards your heels and draw your tummy in gently. Inhale. Exhale, shoulder blades sliding down the ribcage. Reach with the crown of the head forwards and lifting up your chest and head. Your legs are reaching out long and you're very lightly squeezing into the ball. And then lower back down. Inhale, exhale, tailbone to the heels. Reach out forwards, lifting up. This is quite a small movement. Your arms are kind of restricting us to go very far. Just focus on the length of your spine and lower back down. We're adding on. So if it feels good and not too much on your lower back, you may float your legs a little bit off the mat. Taking the ball with you and lower back down. Inhale. Exhale. Reach away. Shoulder softening down. And slowly down. Good. Again, you may stick with this version if this feels that's just right for your body. Or otherwise, we've got one more. We're going to lift up. This time, take the arms with you. Hands to the forehead. Open the arms. Take a big sweep with the arms back. Palms down to the floor. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. Sweep the arms all the way forwards. Hands under your forehead. And everything is resting down. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, abdominals are just a little bit working there as well, lifting up. Inhale, exhale, reach the arms back, reach out through the toes, the fingertips to the wall behind you. Take the arms all the way forwards, hands under the head and rest it back down. Breathe in, breathe out, long, 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 long body. Arms, big circle, stretch them back. Take the arms all the way out, hands under the head, and relax it down. You're almost there. Give it your best for the last one. And reach out, lift, and circle the arms, stretch them back, 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 back. Keep squeezing that ball. Take the arms forwards, hands under your head, rest it down. Well done. Rock your hips side to side. And then hands near your shoulders. Push yourself up onto your hands and knees. And then this time, the ball out of the way. We'll have our knees close together. And we'll take a stretch by curling up into a small little ball. Catch your feet. Draw yourself in towards your feet. Release it here. Good. Now rock forwards onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back. Feet hip distance apart. 
we'll just walking on the spot stretch it out here stretch out those legs and then keep walking the feet forward to the hands halfway and then your feet come your hands coming back to your feet Good, I'm gonna turn around now to face you. You can stay as you are. Grab your ball and place the ball between your ankles. Very slowly, roll yourself up. Bend your knees gently. Press into the feet, rolling yourself up to standing. Inhale, take a big sweep with your arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, the palms come down to the center we we'll try and lift the heels up. Find a moment to balance on our toes, the balls of the feet. Lower down. Inhale, arms go up. Big stretch. Long, long, long. Hands down through the center. See if you can lift the heels. Hold on to your ball. Having the ball helps us with our balance, so our ankles are more stable. And lower down. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Reach, exhale, rising up. Really good ankle and calf strengthening. Lower your heels down, nod your head forwards. One last time, roll the body forwards, releasing it. Inhale, you can remove the ball from between your feet. But just sense as if it's still there, feel how it has helped to engage your inner thighs. This helps draw everything towards the center of the body. Rolling yourself all the way up. Standing nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Well done. You did it. Thank you so much. Feel free to leave me any comments in the section below. Have a great day.